Hey guys, what's going on? Guess a Mexican here, and this is Message Tuesday because I'm dumb and I wasn't able to get it up before yesterday because I forgot it was Monday, as I'm so often doing. But I'm gonna try to to to, to get better. I'm gonna I'm gonna develop a system, probably set some alarms and stuff on my phone. Someone suggested that you guys remind me on Twitter when it's Monday. So if you guys want to do that, I'd appreciate it. But anyways, Message Tuesday. Um, and uh, let's go right into the first Xbox Live message, which is from Assassin Protégé, and this is what they had to say. Hey, SC, big fan. Um, I know the creature has to set up and everything, but I was wondering when you guys were moving into it, because I've been looking forward to Creature Talk for a while now. It's a good question. Um, it's a question that I've gotten quite a lot lately, and I'm sure that a bunch of the other creatures have gotten the same question. But um, just recently, you may even know this question by now, because Jordan uh, Kutra uploaded a video saying when, because there is a specific date when we're all planning on being in the Creature House and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, the date that we are shooting for is February 1st. That is the date that a bunch of us have already booked plane tickets and stuff. I may or may not be there slightly later. I, I should be there by February 1st. I'm waiting for the rest of my computer parts to arrive, because I ordered a bunch of new computer parts to build my own computer. Um... So I'm just waiting for the last parts for those to arrive. Most of them already have, and then as soon as they have, um, they're scheduled to arrive before February 1st, but as soon as they have, I'll book my ticket, and I'll be out there. So February 1st is when we will be, more than likely, all of us in the house. Well, all of us that are going out there anyways. And, um, yeah, I've been looking forward to Creature Talk as well. I miss doing it as much as you guys, I'm sure, miss hearing it and tuning in live. So, And the fact that we'll be able to do it actually, you know, around a table, most of us around a table, you know, with mics and stuff, and hook it up nice with cameras eventually and whatnot so you can see us while we're doing it. It's more like a talk show kind of thing. Um, I'm really excited for that. So that is what is going on, and I'm super excited to be in the Creature House. By the way, there's a ping pong table in there. And an air hockey table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the next Xbox message. Next message from Xbox is from Charlie Sheen, not Char, not Charlie Sheen, not to be confused, but uh, yeah, let's listen to their message. With the lack of good games coming out in 2012, I'm just wondering um, what you're going to be spending your time with most in 2012. Is it going to be like Minecraft or any of the new games that come out this year, which there aren't many of? That's a good question. Um, I actually did not really know. I hadn't put too much research into into what games are coming out this year. So after I listened to your message, I went and looked at some of the ones that are on IGN, and, I, and there's some good ones that are coming out, or at least some bigger titles anyways. Whether or not they're good will be debatable. You know, it's debatable. I don't know. We'll have to wait until they come out. But I went through, and some of the ones that definitely are on my radar is, of course, Mass Effect 3, which is it comes out March 6th, so that's, that's actually happening pretty soon. So you'll see some of the single player from that. I'll probably do a full playthrough of that. Um, and also, me and Kutra are going to be doing some co-op stuff, because that game also has co-op online. So we'll be doing those stuff, and, oh, God, I'm so excited. I can't even tell you guys how excited I am. I've been trying to be ignorant of all the Mass Effect news that have been coming out. Uh, I, you could say I don't follow Mass Effect news. Uh, and the reason for that is because I just don't want to spoil anything. Like, I, I just want to experience everything all fresh and be, like, you know, surprised and stuff. So, Mass Effect 3 for sure. Tomb Raider also uh, saw that. That little brief demo that they had, I think it was at E3, right? Last E3? Um, and that looked pretty solid. Go, kind of going to how she became Laura Croft, so... Uh, that'll be interesting. I hope it's good. It looked good, but uh, yeah, again, that's not one of those games, like I said, you don't know if it'll be good or not. Maybe it'll flop. Halo 4 is coming out. I'm sure all of us will pick it up because it's another Halo game, and we always do. But um, that'll be interesting to see whether or not 343 can pull it off uh, and what exactly goes on with that game. I don't know. All they've done is just said they're doing Halo 4, as far as I know. Maybe they've released more information. I don't know. I'm ignorant of that. But, uh, well, more than likely I'll be playing that. Bioshock Infinite, you can count on me getting that game, and I'm really excited for it. Borderlands 2, also another one of those games that are going to be really, really good. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, more than likely going to pick up that game, probably play some with Spoon, because I know he's really excited about that. Diablo 3, I actually have a beta for that, but for some reason I can't log into my battle.net. 
So, yeah, I don't. I, I wish I could tell you more about that game, but uh, I've been playing Diablo 2 a little bit, and that's fun. So kind of got me a little excited for Diablo 3. So that'll be a game I'm playing. Grand Theft Auto 5, very excited for that game. I played a lot of Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, I played a lot of the multiplayer, too. So, And the fact that it looks like Grand Theft Auto you know, for just like super enhanced as far as, well, not super enhanced, but enhanced as far as graphics and stuff. And also they're combining that with like the size and scope of San Andreas, which is what we've pretty much all been wanting. If you've been a fan of the series, uh, it looks like they're about to deliver on that. So we shall see how that goes, but I am very excited. I know Dan is too, cause he's a big, he's a big fan of those games as well. And also with those games, you can make a lot of machinima stuff happen. So we shall see, but that one is another one that I'll play and Guild Wars 2. I did not play Guild Wars 1, but I, after I seeing, you know, some of the stuff from Guild Wars 2, it's supposed to come out this year, but whether it does, you know, it's they've been saying it's going to be coming out forever, so I don't know. It's supposed to be coming out this year for sure, but we'll see what happens there. But it, it, from the footage that I have seen from people that have been able to play it early, it looks pretty awesome. And the fact that it's free also, you know, is appealing to me. So those are some of the games that are on my list. But again, you you never know. People might announce new games and stuff that come out of left field, you know, like indie games and stuff. So you never know. You never know what's going to come out. It's, it's a whole year. It's a long space of time. So those are the games that I will be playing, though. And, um, you know, whatever else strikes my fancy, I might play some retro games and stuff. I've been meaning to play more retro games and playthroughs and stuff of that. So... Also, there's some other games that are on my list that I still have to play through. So hopefully that answers your question to satisfaction. Let's move on to the PS3 messages. First message from PS3 is from Gunner8448. And yeah, look at that. I already answered this question. But are you going to be getting GTA 5 when it comes out? And if yes, will you do a playthrough of it? Thanks. Yes, I am going to be getting GTA 5. Will I do a playthrough of it? Um, I'm not sure, because Rockstar is kind of weird as far as LPs are concerned, because they're really, really sensitive about their cutscenes and spoilers and stuff like that for the story. So I don't know if I'll do a playthrough of it, because, you know, I want to avoid copyright strikes as much as possible, because those suck. But, um, you know, maybe if Rockstar or if Machinima gives the go-ahead about Rockstar cutscenes and being able to show them and stuff, maybe I'll do a playthrough of it. I don't know. Uh, you'll definitely see something from me, is whether it be multiplayer and stuff like that, or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I will be getting it, and I guarantee you, you'll see videos from it. So, thank you for your question, Gunner. And let's move on to the next message from PS3. Next and final message from PS3 is Ross Boyle six one three, and they say, "If you could either fly or have super speed, which one would you choose, and why?" I think, I don't know, I think it'd probably be fly. I've always wanted to be able to fly. Like, you know, when people say, Ooh, what would be your superpower? What would be the one you choose? i probably want to be able to fly. And I'm not going to pull any, pick any of those bullshit superpowers. Like, well, I'd wish to have the superpower of having any superpower I want. That's a dumb answer. I always hated those people that said that. But um, probably to fly. I think that would just be really, really cool. Just be able to fly around, go up in the sky and stuff. I don't need a car. You know, I'm flying to McDonald's. I'm flying to McDonald's and I'm flying back with a Burger King Big Mac or something in my hand. Why am I flying to McDonald's? If I can fly, why am I going to McDonald's? <sighs> I'm flying to, uh, I don't know, if we're talking fast food, Chipotle. We'll step it up. Go to Chipotle. Yep. Fly to Chipotle. <laughs> Get my burrito and then fly sluggishly back home. No, I think flying would be amazing. I think that'd be really cool. Super speed would be fun too, but I think flying would probably be the, the preferred option for me. So... Thank you for your mail. Let, let me know what you guys think, actually. Would you rather fly or uh, have super speed? Let me know in the comments. <gasps> oh, I'd like to hear your guys' opinions. I don't know why I feel like I need to make it creepy, though. Anyways, next message. Uh, let's move on to the YouTube messages. First message from YouTube is from Henry Hugh 97 And they say, Hey, Gassy, can you please fix the torches on the wall of the right of the storage hall on Serenity Mine, please? Smiley face. All right, well, you know what? This this is something I'm going to get off my chest here. I, I get these messages all the time, and, like, it's really frustrating just because, like, you, you're trying to go through, you're trying to pick messages, and, like, what, am I, what do you want me to do? Like, you want me to start up Minecraft and just stop everything I'm doing right now and just go in there and fix the torches for you. Like, I get all these messages all the time saying, like, oh, could you do this? This is really annoying me. Like, dude, I'm not going to do it. Just stop messaging me, all right? It's really, really frustrating when I try, I try to put out like good content for you guys. I try to do all this interesting stuff, but like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go and just 
fix something small for you. Like I'm, tr- I'm you, it's hard to put up a whole bunch of videos and stuff, keep it entertaining and all that things. And then you guys make these dumb requests. Like, like I'm going to go and just, like I said, go into Minecraft and just friggin' change some stupid little thing like torches. And you know, it's just a waste of time. It's a waste of my time. It's a waste of your guys time to send me those messages. Cause it's never going to happen. So just stop sending me messages like that. And um, everything will be a lot better. So, oh, God, I feel so much better. All right. Let's go to the next message from YouTube and let's see what they say. The next and final message from YouTube is from Single Cell 55. And they say, Hey, Gassy, if you could change one thing about games today, what would it be? That's a good question. Um, there's a lot of different things that could be changed. But if I had to pick one, I guess, I guess it would be for video game developers to kind of just think outside the box a little bit more when designing games. Not necessarily, you know, design their games the the same traditional way that a lot of other games have done. Just try to be more unique and more fresh, I guess. It's a pretty general answer to that question, but if you really want an example of what I'm talking about, kind of in the style that, that Valve has done with, like, Portal and stuff like that, where it kind of makes you feel like you're breaking the game and stuff. And, and, you know, you get that much more engaged in what's going on in the game because you're like, well, what the hell? <laughs> like, I can actually do this. So, and the Stanley Parable, too. That was another thing when I was playing that. Like, that's part of the reason why I enjoyed that so much. It was just a small little mod, but the fact that, you know, they made it in such a way that most video game developers, they don't they don't think that type of way when they're making games. So, I don't know. I think it'd be really cool if, if game developers started kind of designing games in that way more. Just kind of unique thinking when they're developing stuff and thinking outside the box and the way things have have been traditionally designed over the past years, a couple of years and stuff. So I don't know, I'm kind of rambling now. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this message Monday. Thank you to everybody that messaged in. Um, uh, you guys are all pretty awesome and uh, I, th- I hold a special place in my heart for you. So that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you later.